franchises of the last few years. And in case you were on another planet, the London premiere was on last night and Lisa camped out with the Twilights in the hope of meeting the cast. Saga. Yes, these are the real toy hearts who camped out for two days to meet the cast of the film. None other than Robert Pattinson, Taylor Lautner, and Kristen Stewart. And even the freezing cold temperatures couldn't dampen the spirits of the fans and cast alike, with Orpaz elbowing his way all the way towards Expose just to say hello. Hi, you Robert. How are you? What was it? Very nice to meet you. What was it like to finish the final part in the saga? It's kind of amazing. We finished that. Me and Chris have been shooting on the beach in the Caribbean. It's like kind of the opposite of what we did for the entire series. So it was a really nice ending. And uh, I don't know. I don't really know how I feel about it actually. Actually, not going back to work in uh, in Canada or Louisiana where we shot this. So it's gonna be weird not being in those contact lenses again. You're gonna miss the fangs and the contact lenses. I never had any fangs. No one ever realised the entire series. <laughs> how many marriage proposals have you had over the last ten years? None. None, literally none. No one ever proposes. It's really depressing. What? There is one right in front of you. Drat, though I missed my only chance. Right before I have to chat to his real-life other half, Kristen Stewart. Hello, it's Lisa Grace Thursday. How are you? Good. Freezing the cold. I know, it's freezing out here. Is that the element of vampire in you, is it? Yeah, no, I don't even feel it. Well, there's some truth in that, because in this instalment of the saga, Bella marries Edward and they conceive a vampire child. Yes, the dramaturg crashes through the roof. It's funny, you don't, as an actor, always get to love the characters you play. And um, in this case, I literally had to justify every decision. I had to get behind everything she did in this. Um, no, you have to go through so many different stages. You've got a wedding, you have a pregnancy. How did that work? It was good. I mean, those milestones are, even though they're set within this very supernatural story, they're they're everything that we can all relate to in life. They're the basics, they're the fundamentals, and, and we've built to them for four years. It's just not a normal experience for an actor. Usually you've got like three months. Um, so, so it was great to finally walk down the aisle and finally have those experiences. Bill, the director, said that it was very easy to direct yourself and Rob because you're obviously an off-screen couple. And he said it was a really good way to form the ideal relationship on screen. Oh, that's sweet that he said that. Obviously, Kristen's not too keen to add any more about her off-screen romance. Next, it's Team Jacob, the wolf. Taylor, how are you again? Very around? good. Yeah, absolutely. Good, good, good. And, um, you know, everybody says Team Jacob or, or Team Edward. You've got to say you're Team Jacob, right? I, I actually, I'm not on a team, to be honest. That's true. I, you know, I, uh, I, I mean, my personal opinion, I don't think Bella could have gone wrong with either guy. I think she would have been fine. So, I guess I'm Team Switzerland, which is right did, in the middle. She did really well. She got a piece of both of you. Nice. Very nice looking girl. Yeah, yeah. You know, she, um, she got her lovers, then she got her best friend. Camp out and do what these people are doing for you. If you knew you. No! Of course not. I don't even, I, I don't know if I could choose anybody that I would camp out for this, I mean, this is, this is absolutely amazing. This is a lot of passion from these fans. And speaking of passion, there's less of Taylor in the flesh than ever before. Boo. <laughs> I was very thankful to kind of pass those duties off to Rob and Kristen in this one. They were shirtless much more than me. Last night was the best night of my existence. And we're going to be speaking to Irish stars Janet Devlin and a pregnant...